And now, Solid Signal goes hands-on with the latest and greatest from DirecTV, the C41W Wireless Genie Client. The Wireless Genie Client is really neat. The C41W lets you put DirecTV service in any room. No coax connection required. Let's take a look at the details. The first thing you need to know about the C41W is that it works with any Genie DVR. HR34 and HR44 DVRs are both completely okay, and you can have wired clients at the same time. Now it's not totally wireless, you do need to plug it into the wall, you need to plug it to the TV. But no coax connection is required. It doesn't use your existing wireless network, which means you don't have to configure it to use it that way. It creates its own using a wireless video bridge product that's sold separately. The C41W looks an awful lot like a regular C41, right down to all these logos on the right side. It's actually a little bit shorter top to bottom, and a little bit narrower left to right. Take a look at this comparison shot. The wireless C41 is on the bottom, while a regular Genie client is on the top. Really, the size difference isn't that big. Let's take a look at the back of the C41 wireless. There's the same 10-pin connector that's used on H25 and other Genie clients for component and composite. There's an HDMI connector. There's the typical, obligatory, totally useless USB connection, a digital audio port, and a connector for the EPS-10 power supply, which is the same power supply that's used on H25s and other Genie clients. That's all that's back there. In fact, for such a little receiver, there's an awful lot of extra wasted space on the back. On the underside, you see a pair of keyhole slots, which are really nice because it means you don't need a separate holder to attach this to the back of the television or to the wall. The other piece of the puzzle is the wireless video bridge. This looks an awful lot like a router. It stands vertical for better performance. There's not a whole lot to it. Just a black box with a bunch of DirecTV logos on it. The wireless video bridge itself is based on an off-the-shelf Linksys product so there's an awful lot of connections on the back that really aren't used. There's an Ethernet port which may be used for future expansion, but right now it doesn't do anything. There's a coax input, and what's more important is that there's a pass-through coax output, so if you don't have enough room on the splitter, you can run a cable from the splitter to the video bridge, and then from the video bridge to whatever receiver you want to use. And of course, a connection for that same EPS-10 power supply. You need a separate power supply for the wireless client and a separate power supply for the video bridge. Rounding out the package is the same RC71 remote as you'll see on other receivers and the EPS-10 power supply. Not a whole lot new there. Let's look at a very basic installation of the C41 wireless. We're leaving a lot out here, including the satellite dish. Starting with your splitter, run a cable to the wireless video bridge and then run another cable from another port on the splitter to an HR34 or HR44 DVR. If you don't have enough room on the splitter to run a separate cable to the HR34 or HR44, just uncap that second port on the wireless video bridge and run a cable straight to the Genie DVR from there. The wireless video bridge connects wirelessly, of course that's the name, to the wireless C41. There's a pairing procedure that needs to be done the very first time. Start by powering up the wireless video bridge and waiting two to two and a half minutes until that blue light that you see in front of you is solid. Connect the C41W client, power it up, and wait for it to boot, which takes about a minute to a minute and a half. When you see this screen, go to your Genie DVR, power it up, and follow the Add a Client procedure. That's Menu, Settings and Help, Settings, Whole Home, Add a Client. You'll see a pin on the screen. Write that down. If you're getting good signal, the little ice cream cone should turn green. And at this point, press select to continue on pairing the video bridge. If you're not getting good signal, try moving the video bridge maybe into another room or maybe into the center of the same room. It then takes up to two minutes for the video bridge to pair with the wireless client. You'll see a screen like this and it will count down. When it's finally done, you'll see an enter the pin screen. This is where you put in the number that you got off of the Genie DVR earlier. From there, it's pretty much like setting up any other DirecTV receiver. When I started with the C41 wireless, I was worried it was going to be slow and pokey. That's why I shot this completely unedited raw video of how well the C41W works. It starts when I push the button to power up the C41 and you see it actually starts really fast 
There's no negotiation time involved. And in fact, all the menus are nice and responsive. Flipping through the guide is as fast as it is on a C41 wired client. There really isn't a whole lot of difference here. Hold down the button, things move nice and quick. There's just no lag. I really thought there would be. Channel changes are just as fast as they are anywhere else. And it doesn't even matter if you're switching from satellite to satellite. Things are just that fast. This really impressed me compared to some of the other wireless clients I've seen from AT&T and others. While I was prepared to really dislike the C41W wireless client, I ended up liking it a lot, and I'm glad that I added it permanently to my home theater setup. The C41W and wireless video bridge should be available soon at SolidSignal.com.